You thought I was feeling you? If you're a gem, then I am. <laughs> you thought I was feeling you? Much. Peace out. <laughs> Hey gems, it's your girl Miss Jamima and we are back at it again with another video. Another video. <laughs> Y'all, low-key, I'm so tired, I feel like I'm delusional. And it's only three in the afternoon. Why? Anyways, I wanna play makeup today. I got some new goodies from the sale. Are we still talking about that? Or is that old news? Cause you thought I was feeling you clunk! What? Someone at the Oyster Place at 8 Oh, yeah? And um, the movie theater uh, is at, at the 10 o'clock show. Oh? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm right here. I got some goodies and I kind of want to play with them. I've been using them here and there, but I haven't done a full look with all the items, so... I am looking forward to that. But before we get into it. Um, I'm currently drinking Mike's Hard Black Cherry Lemonade. I was told by one of my current house guests that this was delish, so. Mm. And no lies were told. Um, let me see, what did I get that was new? Pulling out some items here in my Benny Bin Bin. I actually don't have that many things, but we're gonna make a look nonetheless. All right, do you guys wanna come closer? The closer you get to me. <laughs> so close, that's close enough, please. I don't need to see inside my pores or nothing. God, hey, God, hey. Am I censored? I really hate this right here. I need to do something with this. I just don't know what yet. And I don't have anyone from my books yet. Did I just move? Like, you thought I was feeling you? Like, dang, you a munch. Oh my, wow. You know, we are going out later. I guess I might as well just do my makeup, huh? Ugh, you know it's like a lot later, but by the time I'm done recording all that stuff, it's gonna be time to go. Okay, whatever. Starting off with the e.l.f. Power grip, baby. Cut that thing got some what? Punch. It packs a punch. All right. Um, we're gonna rush through this because who's trying to stay here for 30 hours? I went to get waxed the other day and I still have a beard. So I'm very confused. I need to start checking my face before I leave the wax place because it's embarrassing. Okay, I think tomorrow I'm just gonna take some time to wax myself. I need to bring my mirror closer because it's actually a joke that I think I can see this far. <laughs> you thought I was feeling you? You're much. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the House Labs Foundation. Um, this is a Zuby Skin Foundation and I have it in the shade 460 Medium Deep Warm. I kind of feel like I probably could have afforded to go down one shade in the warm family. Um, but I didn't and I don't feel like returning it, so there's that. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that on the hands. I typically just do a drop and use that to cover the face, honey. Where's my brush? Like, you thought I was feeling you? Boy, you a much. I really wish I could play music right now. Like, I'm one of those people, I like to either have music playing or like a YouTube video or a movie, something playing in the background. Like, I just like the white noise. Um, I like 
having my attention on something even when I'm doing my makeup so like when it's just me and my thoughts I'm just like um but yeah so yeah because you can tell even from my face like it's a little it's a little darker than my chest area that's fine I can definitely make that work and I can also mix but oh but look at the look at the skin uh, like you thought I was feeling you yes I am you know I actually think I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a second pump surprise surprise um because I just love this formula I like how it looks on my skin typically I just use a little bit to help even out the skin but I actually like like how my skin just looks healthy with it on so I want my face saturated in it now am I actually going to saturate no but I'm gonna apply a little more mmm delicioso <laughs> Ooh. all right is that a pimple oh my god is that a pimple on my scalp bruh why why are you persecuting me like this if i was ever to be that girl where i just wore like a little bit of foundation before heading out i think this is the formula i would use this looks really freaking good like it's giving your skin but better <laughs> i don't love that for me like the texture of this is just really nice it's really nice you thought i was feeling you heck yes i get into it baby then i'm gonna go in with the sephora best skin ever in the shade 35n because it's the best skin ever. Um, I'm gonna apply this underneath the eyes. Um, I need to get my eyeshadow primer because I'm actually gonna wear eyeshadow today. Shocker! Um, I also stocked up on the beauty uh, blenders. Yeah, we gonna use it. Waste it. <laughs> Waste it. I'm gonna spray it down with the It Cosmetics Years. Your skin but better spray since I'm not gonna wet it. And I'm also gonna spray my face. Oh, that's a little excessive. Okay, listen, I just wanna say that these Sephora sales sponges do not hit the same. I don't know what's going on. If she got a new manufacturer, if they switch uh, factories or what, I don't know, but this is not blending like my very first beauty blender. I don't know what's going on. I mean, she's still, you know, blending or whatever, but it's not, it's not the same. Okay, nobody say. It's not as bad as the one that were in the sets. That was just ridiculous. Like, y'all didn't even try. Completely different sponges. But, like, for sure, something is off. I said what I said. And I done bought, like, 18 of these. Ugh. Bro, look at the skin. Are you actually kidding me right now? The skin looks bomb. Ooh. Sorry, y'all. I have to leave this on so I know when my target people are texting me in case I have a substitution for my order. You see, that's usually why I don't clean up underneath my brows with concealer because it closes the eye. You see how this one just looks bigger and brighter? And this one, once I put that concealer and block out that pigmentation, it looks smaller. Especially if I'm not wearing eyeshadow, I'm just like, nah, bruh. Let that hyperpigmentation shine. Okay. You thought I was feeling you? Warning. I'm about to use the House Labs Bio Blurring Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. Um, It's gonna look real crazy. And it might look crazy the entire duration of this video, but it looks a lot crazier on camera than it does in person and I'm here for a beat today okay and I feel like this is the powder I, I should use to either like brighten or like if I want a beat beat um so we're gonna try it out 
This is my second time using it. I don't care for the packaging. I feel like it makes it difficult to actually access the amount of powder that I need. Um, and it's just very annoying to use overall. So it's my thoughts on that. Let me make sure I have no creasing underneath the eye before I set the powder. That is a big no-no. Okay, and quickly before I start to crease again. Like, Girl, where is the powder? Oh, uh, I is too much of it. And I'm like, this is a, a brand new uh, jar. So imagine when you actually like really start getting into like this powder. Like how, are all of them like this? Or is mine this extra defective? Like what's actually going on? <sighs> Y'all, it's barely even like when I tap it out that way. All that's happened, that's all that came out. I was feeling you. This powder on much. But I like it though. I actually really like this powder. On a positive note, you will never over powder your face with this because you literally can't get to it. So it's literally impossible. Uh, I'm just gonna have to cut out the little net thing in the middle. Like it's just not working out. You know, it's just not working out for us right now. I'm actually getting very hungry. What time is it? Oh, it's four. I guess it's dinner-ish. So I had eggs and I had a couple bites of brown rice, cucumber, avocado rolls. And I also had a little bit of tuna on a slice of bread. <laughs> All that was between 12 and now. I feel like I shouldn't be hungry right now. <laughs> oh my God, I'm still putting powder? Are you for real? This can't be life. I'm tired, my arm hurts. But it's a good powder. Not my foundation is all in the middle now. Please, please. Going in with a new Sephora powder. Baby, wow, this is how she started off. All round and curvy and full. Mmm. And just using that to set my face. So as you guys can see, this foundation is very much zooey, okay? Um, and this powder is going to set it for an hour or so, and eventually the zooiness will come back. So don't worry if you want zooey skin. That's also why skin prep is important and why I use a good like tacky primer and a mattifying primer in my T-zone so that when it does get zooey, it's reasonably controlled. And I can just like touch up whatever as I need without looking like a ball of oil. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the powder doesn't look that bad. You thought I was feeling you? Why'd you think that? Bye, right, Dominica. I know that. I'm gonna use my LYS Beauty Bronzer. Though I feel like I need more of a calm, like a deeper contour. Yeah, I think I want something a little deeper. Ooh, but that shadow, ooh. I just love like complexion makeup. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. You thought I was feeling you like, what made you think that? <laughs> like, are you feeling me or what's on your mind? Okay, I think I'm good. I'm, I'm really liking how it's looking by itself, actually. Take that back. I thought the powder would have been a little too strong for my little bronzer to do its thing by itself. Because sometimes I'll bronze and I'll go in with like a true contour shade as opposed to using that one bronzer as everything. But can you guys like see the difference already? Like, do you see the difference? Is it giving it sun-kissed glow? <laughs> You thought I was feeling you? Please. I want to put a little bit, a, little, a, a, a blusher on the cheek. So I put a blusher. <laughs> um, ah! Is it the light? I don't know if I see like real light. No, oh my God. I feel like this is like 
Is this staining my teeth? Oh my god. Bro, my teeth always is like. No, I thought like this is staining my teeth. Ew. Next, I'm going to use. Then I actually. Let me do eyes first and come back to fade because I don't know how my eyes are gonna look. Oh, look how pretty these shades are. I feel like you can't even capture it on camera because it's like so washed out. The vibrancy, like this shade right here, what? What, what am I even wearing later? Because I don't want the clash either. Whoa. I'm not even sure how this works. I just put my finger in it and like there's nothing on my hand. Danessa. This has to be a magic trick, cause ain't no way. Look, full is not like ain't no way. These are just like little bit no. These have to be some kind of like foil or something. I guess is there a special applicator or? Vanessa, teach me. Heaven couldn't wait for you. Yo, I'm like really messing with these Sonia brushes. Okay. This is the Artist Couture Supreme Bronze Palette. I'm gonna take this brown shade in Baked. And I'm gonna use that for the crease, darling. This is a fluffy AF brush, honey. Wowzers. I'm gonna mix in a little bit of Sunkiss into that. Like I like for my transition like crease shade to have a little twinge, a red to it. I just feel like it's really pretty. I am also going to take this shade right here, Gilded, which is just like super uh, bronzy gold. And just that sweep that over the eye. Just a sweep, sweep. <laughs> I feel like, can you even see it on camera? Like, that'd be wild if I look back and it's like, girl, you can't even see anything. I promise it's there. I promise it's there. All right, I'm gonna apply a little bit of the brown shade in Baked underneath the eye. Where is my Sephora brow pencil? This is in the shade medium brown. I also use like chocolate brown or something like that. I use both shades. Um, and this is like a drier pencil, which is why I like it. Cause I feel like I can get hair strokes and it'll blend to the brow super easy and not give off that waxy look, which ugh, I hate a greasy brow, truly. Okay, my eyebrows are like, kind of like different shapes right now. Um, we started off just fine. I'm not really sure why they're like beefing, but either way, they're just gonna have to figure that out. Like, you are just gonna have to come up with a solution on your own. Because I'm pretty much tapped out. Like I'm removing myself from the situation. Like it's no longer here with me. It's above me, thank you. All right, so now I'm going in with the NARS face palette um if you watch the vlogs i mentioned how it's been quite difficult pulling the pigments from this palette i've had to use a denter brush and go in multiple times to get the color and at first i'm gonna return it but i really like these colors like ugh, this color right here is so pretty um i'm not sure what lip i'm gonna wear yet so i don't know what blush i'm gonna do let me do the lip first. We're doing things all out of order. I'm so, okay, Target, dang. Yeah, I'm gonna play the lipsticks. <laughs> Yo, my makeup, see, I, I forgot mascara. Like, this is what happens when you do things out of order. We have this shade here. Ooh, Huda. Ooh. Okay, this is the shade Bachelorette. Uh, 
Um, next we have the shade Rendezvous. Why do I feel like I low-key have this? No, I don't. This is cute. This is like a nude. Mm, no, it's not nude, but it's like pinky, but not as bright as Bachelorette. Last but not least, we have We have the shade Honeymoon. Look it. Oh. I'm gonna do Honeymoon. YOLO. Going in with my Rare Beauty lip liner, which I, oh. Is she done? Oh my God. She's out of stock. I feel like it's gonna be discontinued. I couldn't get it from her website either. Very sad, very sad indeed. Um. I finally found it, purchasing through Sephora at Kohl's, but they're out of stock now, so I can't even link. So I don't know, but I feel like for it to be discontinued everywhere like that, even the website, it's about to be discontinued. Like, ain't no way. And it's so good. Like, my number one recommendation at Sephora. Please. All right, let's see what she's giving y'all. Oh. The creaminess, the pigmentation. This is like pinky pink. Mmm, that's nice. All right, so uh, first of all, let's finish the eyes because I'm gonna forget. Where's my mascara? Patrick, one star, one size. <laughs> Eyeliner to my mole on my nose. I feel pretty, oh so pretty. I feel pretty and witty and brown. Now we're gonna do our cheek makeup and then we'll be done, finally. I can absolutely use a shade that I was eyeballing before. Y'all, do we have to like go in on this? Ugh. Okay, yeah. There she go. It's so pretty. It's so pretty, y'all. Ah! I'm gonna put some of this House Labs highlighter over the blush as a topper, just to add some luminescence. Um, it's not really going to alter the color too much, so we should be good. I just like how it makes my cheek look healthy and glowy. Jaclyn Hill palette using this shade here. Is Jaclyn still making makeup? I feel like she had a couple launches that also were not made for brown skin. Um, so I don't know what's going on with that, but this highlighter slaps though. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's really bulky and heavy, but, and I really only use this shade right here. I can use this one too. I can use them all really, but this is the one that I gravitate to the most. And I like it because it's really just like, the silkiest highlight, you know? That's my preference in formula, as opposed to like big chunks of glitter or anything like that. I like for a more soft, luminous, you're glowing, you might be pregnant, you might be oily kind of thing. Like I just, somewhere in between that, you know? Um, but yeah, so, oh, am I done? Dang, y'all yeah, really be finishing my makeup quick as heck. Um, Setting my face with the Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray just on the outsides. And the forehead. And um, oh my God, am I done? You thought I was feeling you? If you're a gem, then I am. This is cute. Um, I'm really enjoying these products. I mean, I did buy a lot of things that I knew was gonna hit. So like getting more Huda Beauty lipsticks, I already knew I loved her formula. Um, so that was gonna hit. Um, I got another powder, which I finished before. I knew that was gonna hit. The NARS was touch and go for a little bit, but I feel like she acted, she, she acted right now. She acted right. Um, the house foundation, I wasn't sure how that was gonna, how that was gonna play. She doing something. Um, yeah, Lady Gaga doing something. 
I like that. I think the skin looks healthy. It looks good. It looks glowy, but it doesn't look oily. Subtle color on the lid. A lot of color on the lip. But it's like matte, but like juicy and plump and suave. <laughs> Um, but overall, I really like this look, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will absolutely see you in the next one. Toodles. <laughs>